What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. I did make a video sharing my PS4 video game collection a while back, but that was all basically my digital collection. Today I'm going to be sharing with you just my physical collection. And after I pulled all of my PS4 games out of my cabinets, I didn't realize I had this many physical copies because most of my games now are digital on the PS4 and once I beat them and finish them, if I'm not going to play them again, I delete them. So the fact that I have quite a few games and none of these games I plan on getting rid of because I do like to collect things now. So today I'm just going to be sharing with you my physical PS4 video game collection. So let's get it started. Up first is South Park, a fractured butthole. On the PS3, I think I still have the physical copy for it, but South Park Stick of Truth was a great game. I absolutely loved it. So I decided to get this because basically they are going from the medieval um, stuff they did in Stick of Truth and they're going for all superhero gimmicks for the characters. So I was a huge fan of superheroes, still am. I love South Park, so I decided to get this. And it was a great game in my opinion. I absolutely loved this game. It had a great story and great mechanics for the gameplay. Next up is a game that I honestly did not play too much. But that is Hunting Simulator. I think Walmart did have this for about $20. I picked it up. But I just didn't play it too much. It's not really something I enjoyed. I don't really like too many of the simulator games. But I used to play a lot of hunting games on the PS2. So that's what I was expecting. It's just not what I got out of it. Next up is Minecraft for the PS4. Now back whenever I worked at Canadian Tire, which is a retail store here in Canada, they did have a rewards program for doing our online training, our e-learning. And with that, you could use your points to get different things. And they actually had video games and different things from Best Buy, but not too many great selection of games. So with my points, I managed just to get Minecraft out of it. That's all I got out of the program. So I did not pay for this. I honestly did not play this too much and I have not played it in a long time, but I did enjoy the game and I know a lot of people still play the game. It is a lot of fun. I just don't play it much anymore. Next up will be all my WWE games on the PS4, starting with WWE 2K16. The Stone Cold and Attitude Era mode was absolutely awesome. I'm a huge fan of WWE, so to go back into the Attitude Era and play as that was a lot of fun. Then we got WWE 2K17 with Brock Lesnar on the cover. Now, I can't remember what the main story was for this game, but it was a lot of fun. I did have a lot of fun with it. WWE 2K18, great game as well. I did love it. I normally play for WWE, the universe modes, but the fact that I collect the WWE games, so I get them every single year just for collection purposes, but I do play a ton of WWE. Next... For the first time, I got a WWE Deluxe Edition. Now, this one here for 2K19, it just included all the DLC at a reduced price. And this literally cost me, I think, $40 total. It was on sale Black Friday, the Deluxe version, right on the 2K website, which is something I'm going to check back for next year. But it definitely was a lot of fun. I played this the most. I played like five or six years of Universe Mode worth. And then we have WWE... 2K20, which has a lot of hate right now. It was a broken game at release. A lot of features still don't work, even though they've done, done a lot of patches for this stuff. But thankfully for me, I am on the road to platinum, platinuming this game, which is going to be my 30th platinum on the my account on PlayStation for PS3 and PS4. This game here, everything for me works, and I do love this game, but I know a lot of people are struggling with things not working and basically having trouble with the game. Luckily for me, that's not the case. Next up is Battlefield 1. This is around the time I got back into Battlefield. I was a Call of Duty head. You guys know this. I went back to Battlefield and I'm never going back to Call of Duty. I love Battlefield. Battlefield 1 takes place in World War 1. I. I do have Battlefield 5 on the PS4 digital copy because it was on sale cheaper than the physical copies were. And I do absolutely love Battlefield. Next is going to be GTA 5. I basically played this into the grounds. I have my online stacked. I did have millions and millions. I have tons of cars and tons of everything. I just don't play GTA anymore. I don't enjoy it anymore. I love my other games I play. Then we have Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which I never got around to playing the campaign because me and Jack always argued on playing on the realistic level. 
and we just argue every time we die because on realistic one bullet you are dead which i hated then we have call of duty world war ii which i will say this is a better version than the futuristic games they previously had i just did enjoy the campaign i just don't play it much anymore mainly because i play a lot of my other games or battlefield or any of my other shooters really next up for nhl is nhl 16 for nhl games i tend to get them every two years so we have nhl 16 nhl 18 which i got a Connor mcdavid figure with it at 40 dollars for the whole thing and this year's nhl 20 which i absolutely love next is a game i got this is my only used copy for ps4 that i purchased five dollars rack fest you can't complain that eb games whenever that you only pay five dollars for a game for a new freaking game they must have had something wrong with the price fallout 4 which as you guys know because i used to make a lot of videos for this on my channel i absolutely loved then we have ufc 2 i did love this game but ufc 3 i loved even more and then later this year ufc 4 is going to be coming out and i honestly cannot wait Next is my Need for Speed collection. So we have Need for Speed 2015, which was a, an amazing game. I absolutely loved it. They did so many creative things. Need for Speed Payback, which was a little bit of a downgrade for the series, but I still loved it. And then this, or last year's now, Need for Speed Heat, which I have not really gotten into yet, but I plan on very, very soon because I absolutely love the game. And then the last games are my Uncharted collection. I have literally the Uncharted Collection, the first three games that came out on the PS4 at release of the PS4. Uncharted 4, which I got last year for Christmas, which I absolutely love. That's my favorite Uncharted game in the series. And then Uncharted Lost Legacy, which was my completion of the Uncharted games for the PS4. I absolutely love all of these games. I'm a huge fan of WWE. You guys know that. I get those games every single year. I love getting NHL games, usually every two years, just so I can enjoy it a little bit more. And the Uncharted series, I absolutely loved. So this is my complete physical collection for the PS4 games that I own. I am not going to be getting rid of any of these. I love them too much. I love collecting things now. I wish back on the PS3 and PS2 I kept all of those games because I had a ton of games on the PS2. I just, as I got older... I got rid of a lot of them. I had way too many games on the PS3. Whenever I first got it, I used to play a game, get rid of the game. Play the game, get rid of the game. I do have a little bit of PS3 games left. A lot less than you've seen in this video for the PS4 games. So if you guys want to see my physical PS3 game collection, comment down below. That will be literally maybe a 2-3 minute video. But it is something worth sharing if you guys are interested. So let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Comment down below what game you liked in my physical collection, did you like the most? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.